Welcome back to my channel. In this Volta from television. To the Volta region, one of the most beautiful parts of Ghana, but sadly underrated. I actually come from this region. Both parents come from this region, so I know this place quite well. So come with me. Most of the people who live in this part of the Volta region are either farmers or fishermen. It was a day trip and I was traveling with my dad, my brother and my friend Joshua. We we're going to see my grandmother in way, but I decided it was nice to explore a bit more of the Volta. We stopped to help the fishermen pull their nets. It was so much fun and I highly recommend you do the same if you ever get the opportunity. I then helped them to go through the catch of the day, but I was so heartbroken by just the sheer number of plastic waste in all the shrimps and fish we saw. So heartbreaking. This is plastic. Eh? Oh, this is bad. Look, this is terrible. Oh no! Oh no! Guys, if you're using plastic, please, 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 please be very mindful of how you dispose it because a lot of it is getting into the sea and it's not good for the aquatic life or for us. You can stop by a nearby village to see how they smoke the fish using traditional means. The next stop is Anyanui, where you can get a little canoe or get on a boat and see the estuary or go through the mangroves. You can also go all the way to Ada or Sugakope. It's really quiet but it does get busy when it's a market day. We then took a little break and stopped at Meet Me There in Jita just to chill out a bit and you know, watch the world go by. Talking about getting rid of plastic, I was quite impressed to see this family swimming in the lagoon, picking up any plastic they could find and also going to the beach to pick up any plastic waste. So guys, well, let's rethink about our use of plastic. Time to make our way to go see our grandmother. Actually, my brother and I grew up with our grandmother, so it's always nice to go and visit her again and again and again. Your visit to the Volta region is not complete without eating proper akle or banku. So please, anytime you visit the Volta, eat some. This is how cassava looks like when it's planted and you find a lot of that and maize here and also a lot of shallots grown in this region. Next stop is the Cape St. Paul Lighthouse or locally known as Kadichiata. Well, it just means that under the lighthouse. And yeah, and it was so fun trying to climb it for the first time. Thank you. I made it! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beautiful Keta Lagoon. Right? Mm. The view from the top of the lighthouse is amazing. Woo. It's not a regular tourist activity, but I'm pretty sure if you talk to the guys and you're nice to them and with some supervision, they will allow you to climb. 
this part of the Volta region has probably one of the best and cleanest beaches so definitely go and take a walk around it from where we drove towards Keta and in the direction of Togo just to take in the beauty and the gorgeousness of the Keta Lagoon I hope I managed to get you excited by just showing this little fraction of the beauty that awaits you in the Volta region. Have you visited this part of the Volta region before? Do you plan to? Please let me know in the comments and if you need any tips, please let me know. <music>